You know, not everything comes out of the catalog. Stick around and see what we're making. Before I make this ECE wiring harness, I have to put all the components, the sensors, and all the ignition modules and uh, injectors in place, and then I will be able to design and route the wires. Uh, two of the items that I have to figure out is for the ignition system. This is a Ford SN95 uh, engine and uh, distributor. The earlier Fox Body 5.0 Mustangs had a TFI module mounted right on the distributor, and I thought I would do that, you know, just to make it easier to mount. But uh, I found out in research that a lot of guys with the older Mustangs would have problems with them uh, overheating and then uh, stall the motor out. So they would convert to the newer style with a remote mounted TFI module on a heat sink. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a heat sink and um, mount that. And also I have to mount the coil. These are the components in question. This is a TFI module. It generates quite a bit of heat. And um, there's an area in the back that you put a uh, heat sink compound on and against an aluminum heat sink with fins on it to uh, absorb and dissipate the heat. Um, and then the coil, the original coil, uh, pretty bulky item, not like your normal round coil. Um, and I have to mount that. This stuff was originally mounted on the fender wells of the Mustang, but because I don't have a I don't have fender wells, I have a tilt front end, I have to figure out a mounting system. Let me show you what I've got planned. For this coil, uh, I think I'm going to try to pick up on the passenger side cylinder head, there's a couple of mounting bolts for accessories. I'm gonna make some kind of a steel bracket, modify, maybe modify this one and pick those bolts up. Uh, I just gotta make sure I position it where everything clears, you know, the hoses and uh, electrical connectors and so forth. Uh, that shouldn't be too complicated. And then um, for the TFI module, I'm planning to mount it on the side of the plenum, uh, use a piece of aluminum bar stock uh, as big as I could uh, fit on there and uh, mount it to that and cut cooling fins into the bar stock to help dissipate the heat. I don't think it makes all that much heat, but for a small component, it um, it, it needs to get the heat away from there, otherwise they will fail. Uh, I may make a bracket that uh, picks up off of these uh, throttle body studs, possibly, to mount it, or I could actually even drill and tap into the side of the plenum. We'll see when we get there. I need to make a steel mounting plate to go on the front of the cylinder head to mount my coil. Um, I'm, use, I'm making a paper template first. I gotta have some construction paper. I cut a rough outline of the <clears throat> outside of it and I used a, uh, a rounded punch to rub over where the bolt holes are and that made an impression on the construction paper, picked up my hole centers. But what I'm gonna do is take this um, original uh, Mustang coil mount and um, Probably have to cut this leg down and add another piece here and weld this all together and it should mount somewhere around there. That'll clear the uh, heater hoses and alternator and everything else. Um, but I'll go ahead and finish this up and uh, cut out this plate and we'll go from there.
Okay, I've got that mounting plate cut up and mounted to the cylinder head. I left it a little oversized, uh, give me room to trim it to fit. But I'm gonna take the stock uh, coil mount and uh, cut it down and, and uh, mount it on here, weld up uh, a bracket. Do that next. Here's the coil mount, all welded up, painted, and mounted onto the cylinder head. Here's the coil mounted in place. Uh, got plenty of clearance. And uh, now we're ready to make the TFI module mount. Um, it'll go on the side of the plenum. All right, I'm gonna work on the mount for the ignition module next. It's gonna be a heat sink. I've got some, in my scrap bin, I had some inch and a quarter by two by about six inch long aluminum bar stock. Um, I'm gonna mount it to the side of the intake plenum. I'll, I'll drill and tap some uh, mounting holes to mount the module to. And um, where, the, where the module is, it's got an area in the back that, that has to transfer heat. But the rest, I'm gonna cut the um, fins in it, cooling fins, um, to help dissipate that heat. Uh, and I'm going to mount it paral parallel with the uh, engine itself and not with the carb base because that that's, is at an angle. But, so it'll be like so. But uh, let's get started on that. All right, I took the uh, aluminum blank and I drilled and tapped two 1024 holes here so I could use socket head cap screws to bolt the TFI module on. And then I drilled and counterboard two for two quarter inch socket head cap screws and that's what's going to mount the um, block onto the plenum uh, i'll be cutting on the middle here uh, some cooling fins and uh, i wanted to get those bolt holes in first so i don't have to deal with the fins getting hung up all right i've got the part in the middle now and i have uh, indicated in and uh, found the center um, on the y-axis I've got a digital readout, so it'll make it easy. I've got a quarter inch end mill here, and I'm gonna move over three eighths of an inch each time. That'll give me eighth inch cooling fins, and uh, should work out. Uh, I'm gonna take a shallow cut first and uh, you know, verify that I've got the right spacing. Okay, it looks like the spacing is going to be good. Uh, I've got a, going to leave a flat spot here where the uh, ignition module mounts and uh, the rest will be cooling fins. I'm not sure how deep I'm going to go. We'll see how it cuts. It's a little quarter inch cutter. It can reach down about uh, a little past half an inch deep. I'm going to try to go that deep, but uh, if it starts shattering too much or these fins might be too thin, um, I might not do that deep. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. Now. I used a quarter inch end mill and took small uh, cuts, only a hundred thousandths deep at a time. I got it down to a half inch deep. And now I'm gonna use a, uh, a countersink and run it through those grooves on the top to put a, a uh, chamfer on all the edges.
Hey, before I show you the finished product, I just wanted to uh, let you all know I have uh, stickers for Chips and Sparks Garage available, uh, like so. If you'd like some, just uh, go to my channel page and on the email link, just send me an email with your address and I'll send you some. Uh, if you've got channel stickers uh, of your own, uh, I'd be happy to trade. So uh, send me some of yours and I'll display them on my, uh, I'm going to make a, uh, a board to display these stickers over my workbench. Uh, but I appreciate everybody's support um, on my channel. It's, it's really been encouraging. But uh, let me show you what uh, we finished doing today. Well, here's the heat sink mounted on the intake with the TFI module bolted to it. Now, this is not the final assembly. I do have to take it apart and uh, polish this up. And then I also have to put heat sink grease underneath this to transfer the heat properly. But uh, that's in, in place where it's gonna be. And uh, also remember we made the coil mount. So now I have everything in place uh, that I could start working on the ECU harness. Uh, so I have to, for the harness, I'm gonna have to, of course, pick up the injectors, the coil, the distributor, the TFI module, the throttle position sensor here, the air temp sensor here, the coolant temp sensor here, and uh, I forget what else. Oh, the idle air control valve. Yeah, lots of stuff. But uh, thank you all for watching. I think everything turned out good today, and uh, I appreciate you coming to visit me in the shop. We'll see you next time.